Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. As requested, now doing the Windows variant of this tutorial of getting the latest version of the platform tools. I call them Android tools just to keep things very simple. And this is in fact the ADB and Fastboot files that are required to communicate with most Android devices out there, uh, excluding some that use their own methods. Um, so today I'll be showing you how to install this, well get the latest ones and keep them up to date and also show you how to use them. Well, at least the basics of it. So you can essentially follow any guide or tutorial out there that requires you to use Fastboot or ADB. Now this is probably the best way of doing it rather than uh, just having people send you zip files of the ADB and Fastboot prepackaged like I've been doing. This is probably the best way of doing things to making sure you're all up to date with these files that are very important. So if things aren't working properly, you'll just need to update them following the same method of course, but you don't need to re-download any of these files that I'm about to show you. So to start, you'll need to have the Java Development Kit, or short for short, JDK, and you'll need to download that for Windows. So it doesn't matter which version you download, uh, if you already have the JDK installed, uh, perhaps an older version, maybe uh, 110 or something like that, it doesn't really matter. As long as you've got the JDK somewhere in your system and it has been installed properly, then uh, you sh there should be no problem. So to download the latest one, here is a 111 and there is 112 down below, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to download the 111th version and we're going to click on Windows X64 for our 64-bit version of Windows. So I'm going to click on this uh, once you accept the license agreement of course and just save it anywhere you like. I've already downloaded this so you'll need to download it if you haven't installed the JDK already and up next we'll need to download the Android SDK command line tools. So that includes uh, pretty much the SDK manager in its most basic form. And so without all this Android Studio stuff. So to download this we're going to hit uh, click on download options down here and then you're going to see the Android Studio downloads. Now we don't want these. We want to scroll down to see at the bottom where it says just get the command line tools and you want to click on the Windows one. We want to check that I've read and agreed with the above terms and conditions and click on the blue download button. Now I've already downloaded this and these probably add up to about 400 megabytes. So I've already downloaded them all into one folder. So there's just two files here. So first up you're going to want to install the JDK. So as usual anything installation we can just uh, run it, hit yes to the user account prompt, now wait for the installer to initialize and load. We can hit next, next, and just wait for this thing to finish installing. Uh, it shouldn't take too long, and I think I already have an older version of the JDK installed, but um, this will just, uh, I guess, replace it, I hope. Okay, so I'm just going to click next, I'll leave it as the G uh, default folder. Now, hopefully this shouldn't take too much longer, and then we can get on to the downloading the Android tools, sorry, the platform tools process. So I'm just going to speed this up until it finishes, and oh, well, I think it's almost done. Okay, so now it's successfully installed, and it took a few minutes. Now once that is installed, you don't need to reboot your computer or anything, and we're going to open up this zip file here. Now. It should open up to something like this and you'll just see tools here, I'm not sure if I can make that bigger but uh, it looks like I can't. But here we just have the tools folder, you can just drag that out and extract it. Uh, this might take a little bit longer but uh, it shouldn't be that long overall. Alrighty, now it's finished so we can close this, uh, well, the zip file there on the WinRAR window. And then we can open up the tools folder and you're going to see a lot of these things like, oh, what's going on? Now if you remember, all you need to do is run the android.bat. Now this has changed a teeny bit, I think, since the last time I downloaded it. But all you have to do is run the android.bat and that'll open up the Android SDK manager in this uh, tiny window. So hopefully you can see this alright. I might zoom in if there are issues. But here it is, the Android SDK things. So uh, well, initially it's going to load all the packages and then it's going to install the SDK tools, platform tools and uh, I think, well yeah, like the, the platform for actually, uh, let's say, making apps on Android. So we don't want that. Uh, so all we need to do is click on the deselect all link here, the blue one. We're going to see there are no packages ready to be installed and then all you need to do, all you need to do is um, click or check the Android SDK platform tools 
and then you want to hit install package just like that so there should be only one license to accept only one package to install and then we're going to click on the license over here on the left hand side and then click the accept radio button down here and then click on install now this will download about 3.4 megabytes worth of platform tools for you to use now we'll just give this its five seconds that it needs to download and then um, I might I should be able to show you how to add this to your environment or the command prompt environment path so you don't actually have to change directories every time you want to use um, ADB or fastboot uh, which is pretty handy but I'll probably still be doing that um, well regardless anyway uh, kind of like a habit so once this is finished we can close this window and the command prompt window should also close now if we go back to one folder we should see the platform tools folder not inside the tools folder where we ran the android.bat but just outside of it and we should see platform tools with everything that we need so if we hold shift and right click in an empty space in the folder with nothing selected uh, we should be able to get this option to open a command window here now when we do open this uh, I'll just move these side by side so we can kind of see what's going on so if I type in uh, ADB save version this will give us the latest version so 1.036 at the time of recording it might go up eventually, hopefully it does. But um, you can see that's how we can run commands right now. You'll need to change the command prompt window to the same directory. So if you just decide to run the command prompt out of the start menu, so CMD, uh, if you type ADB version, for example, command, uh, you'll see that ADB is not recognized as an internal or external command, um, operable program or batch file. So that means there is nothing within the my home folder that is ADB and it can't run it because it checks the folder that you're in right now that you changed into so you can see it's C users for uh, backslash squabby and if there's no ADB file there it's going to look at your I'm going to call it the environment path it's probably a little bit wrong but it's going to check those folders that are listed there and if it still can't find it then it'll return this error message so you'll need to change the command prompt to the same directory where your ADB and fastboot files are and then be able to run the commands from there same with fastboot so if I just type in fastboot or output whatever I need or all the parameters that I can uh, enter afterwards and that is now how you're going to use ADB and or fastboot now. okay so on to part two of this kind of tutorial the more advanced part where we can add the platform tools folder to our uh, path environment variable so that way we can access ADB and fastboot through any command prompt without changing the folder location or oh, sorry the location of the command prompt. So we don't need to uh, hold shift and right click and open new command prompt window here. We don't need to type cd uh, wherever our location is. So we can just type in adb on any command prompt window that's not changed to platform tools to the platform tools folder and still be able to run those commands. So to do that we're going to add this folder location that contains adb and fastboot to the path environment variable on Windows. So to do this uh, you just want to make sure you you have placed the platform tools folder that includes the ADB EXEs, DLLs, and Fastboot EXE, all into a location where you don't plan on moving it for a very long time at least. Something where, uh, if anything, well, nothing will change pretty much. So for example, I'm gonna leave the folder as is here on my D drive, and it's not gonna move. Then you can pretty much do this, add it to your environment variable, so your path environment variable, sorry, and then you'll be able to access, like I've said, ADB and Fastboot in any command prompt window without changing the directory. So to do this, we're going to right click on our start button, click on system, and then on the, over on the left hand side, we're going to click advanced system settings, and then go to environment variables, and then we have system variables down here, right? We're going to select path, you should be able to see this, or it has, or well, just path really, and then we're going to click on edit. Now you can see a lot of these have been added, we see the Windows directory there in system32, now that is how we can access say for example I guess a lot of files there so you can run regedit uh, sorry regedit from the command prompt window where it's not changed to the system32 directory and this is exactly what we want to do so we're going to click on new and oh sorry don't click on new click on browse and then browse for wherever our android sorry our platform tools are saved so it's in d android platform tools so wherever this is you can see it added at the bottom here so we're going to click ok click OK and OK to exit all the dialog boxes close this now as proof of concept well not really just proof I'm going to close this platform this command prompt window that has already been changed to the platform tools directory I'm going to 
open up a new command prompt window just by typing in cmd and then if I can just bigify this a little bit not too much if I can bigify this, this is just in my home directory and if I show you my home directory you should not see any there is no there's no fast food, there's no ADB there it's uh, quite empty and I can type in ADB version and it would still output all this I can type in fast boot, it would still output all the parameters. Now this is accessing the path environment variable and then scanning, I guess, each of the folders there to see if the uh, ADB or fast boot exists. And if it does, it will run it from there. So you can see that if I, for example, go back to our D drive and delete or rename ADB to ADB1, and if I type in ADB version, it will say it is not recognized because it cannot find ADB anywhere within those path environment variables. So if I change this back, uh, it should work just fine. And you can see it outputs the version of ADB. So now you can follow pretty much any guide and any tutorial after this point. And if they get you to ask, get you to download FastBoot or anything, you can pretty much skip that and just pretty much go ahead and open up a command prompt window, type in ADB, blah, 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 or FastBoot flash blah, blah, blah and you'll be able to use it as normal and without having to do much anyway. So you can just, from now on, open up the command prompt window and start using ADB and Fastboot. So uh, thank you guys for watching. This is the end of this video. Uh, if there are any other, I guess, better ways of doing this, please feel free to let me know. I'd gladly revise this. Uh, but this is, I guess, the way I've been uh, used to doing it. And I should have other videos coming out quite soon that utilize this. So. Um, yeah, this is a good thing to know and have, but if you prefer not adding it to your path environment variable and you just want to open up the command prop and change, it, change the directory to it, that is still fine as well. As long as you can use ADB or Fastboot, then I should have no problems with that. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.